Hi guys, I'm George and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday where I'm going to be talking about Serverless Stack. So Serverless Stack is a fairly new developer toolkit that's been released in the last year or so uh, that is designed to help developers build, maintain and deploy serverless applications. So serverless applications could be uh, API gateways with Lambda functions, WebSocket APIs, GraphQL endpoints, uh, SQS queues, or front-end applications hosted on S3, uh, or many other serverless resources available within AWS. Serverless Stack is really focused on the developer experience, uh, so it actually allows us to define our infrastructure in the programming language of our choice. Currently, there is JavaScript or TypeScript available to use, uh, but in the future, there are plans to also allow you to use Python or some of these other programming languages listed here. The great thing about using a real programming language for defining our infrastructure is that we can benefit from some of the features of that programming language. So in the case of TypeScript, we can make our infrastructure type safe. This should hopefully lead to less errors when we're deploying compared to using a programming language like YAML. We can also benefit from using variables to reference resources between each other. This means we can add dependencies between resources, uh, which can be really useful. Uh, so the other really great thing about serverless stack is the developer experience when developing locally. So it actually gives you a like for like environment with the production environment locally. This means that we get the exact same events that our production environment would see. Whereas previously with something like serverless framework, we were sometimes having to mock the data that we'd expect to see. That can lead to discrepancies between your local and production environment that can be very hard to debug as things work differently between those two environments. Serverless stack really gets rid of that from the process, which is great. And finally, serverless stack also provides a console, uh, which is basically a slimmed down version of AWS console. This can be great for people who don't really know AWS Cloud that well, uh, as AWS Cloud can be a bit overwhelming due to how large scale it is. Serverless Stacks console gives you access to things like querying databases, uh, triggering lambdas, running cron tasks, and much more. We've been using Serverless Stack for uh, a few months now, and we've had a really positive experience with it, so I'd really recommend giving it a try when you have a minute.